Hello Tibians and welcome to the video. Today I want to share a team hunting spot where we went as night, Druid and Paladin. In order to access the place where we are hunting at, you have to finish the Order of the Falcon part in the Secret Library quest. Keep in mind that this quest can only be started during night time in Tibia, I'll provide a link in the description. Falcon Bastion is a great place to team hunt if you want cash. But it's also risky at lower levels to hunt here as they hit tremendously. With low level I mean the blocker at around level 300. If you plan on hunting here, be aware that falcons do mainly earth and energy, with a bit of holy damage. The knight is the weaker creature here and they only do earth damage along with physical and that tiny bit of holy damage. The paladin on the other hand is one you have to pay the most attention to. They deal a good amount of physical along with energy damage. He's the one you have to protect yourself most from. So, I'll first start off with the equipment. The knight used Terra Helmet, the best helmet available if you need physical and earth protection. Falcon Plate, fabulous legs and depth calce mainly for their physical protection. I went for the Gnome Shield over Lion Shield because the blocker will receive way more energy damage. As Weapon Cobra Club, one-handed fire type weapon. Paladin went for the Lion Spangen Helm, Gnome Armor, Prismatic Legs, Wing Boots, Bow of Cataclysm and a Pendulum. And as last, the Druid had Yalahar Helmet with Bearskin, Gill Legs and Nightmare Boots. Falcon Rod and Shoulder Plate as Weapon and Shield. The imbuements we had was as following. The Knight had 2 times Mana, 1 Life and Critical with Energy Imbuement on the Gnome Shield. The Paladin had 2 times Mana, 1 Life and a Critical Imbuement. And the Druid had 2 times Mana, 1 Critical along with 1 Magic Level Imbuement. As for praise, the Knight had a free defense prey on the Falcon Paladins. Both the Paladin and Druid had no praise activated at the time of recording. But as always, if you or your team want to activate a prey here, every vocation will want to avoid a certain prey. A Knight will avoid loot prey since the loot prey only gets triggered by most damage dealt. The Paladin on the other hand can go for anything, but probably favors defense, damage and experience above loot prey as well. The druid can use anything except defense prey since that person is always behind a tree wall. None of us got any charm activated. But both paladin and druid can activate zap, freeze, poison or inflame on both falcon creatures while the knight activates dodge on falcon paladin, and any of the previous elements mentioned before on the falcon knight. For one hour hunt, the knight needs around 1800 strong mana potions, along with 100 supreme or ultimate healing potions. Paladin can go with around 500 great mana potions and some spirits in case things don't go as planned. Druid around 700 ultimate mana potions in combination with 500 avalanche runes. It never hurts to have more potions in your backpack. Both Paladin and Knight should also carry around 100 magic wall runes, while the Druid takes 150 wild growths. That's an average number and only counts for trio hunts. If you are coming here as duo, the number of magic wall is a bit lower of course. We've had 4 pulls in this hunting place. The main role of the paladin was to lure falcons that were not on our route, while the knight takes all the falcons on his path. The druid only focuses on his trap spots with the occasion of the 4th pull where the person gets the falcons from the north. So the 4th pull will also be the most dangerous one as you will be creating a massive overbox there. But both druid and paladin can stay on safe spots. Now about the experience and profit part. We've done around 4kk experience per hour without any boost. If experience is what you're seeking for, this isn't the place to hunt it as there are way better experience spots out there. But this surely is one of the better profit spots at around this level. The party hunt session was still set on market. The bestiary completion for this place should be between 8 and 9 hours. You will complete the Falcon Knights after 5 hours more or less, and the Falcon Paladins between 8 and 9 hours. While you wait another 4 hours to complete the Falcon Paladins, it's a good idea to put dodge on the Knights already and replace it as soon as you have unlocked the Paladins. I've on purposely kept the mistakes in the video, just to make you aware that you always have to be focused in this spawn, more so on this level. So it's not a picture perfect video you've seen. Anyways, I'll let the video play for a bit longer and will highlight the poll so you have a clear screen to watch at. I've also scheduled a solo falcon hunt with my level 400 druid, for the solo players out there. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it helpful in any way. If you did, please give it a like and make sure to subscribe to the channel. That's the best way to keep up to date with my content, and great support to the channel growth. I'll see you in the next video. 
Stay safe.